All right, welcome to more Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel, where we are still in Heimdall. I feel like we were probably in the Nord Highlands for longer than we've been in Heimdall. It just for some reason feels longer to me here. I don't know. I probably said the same thing about the Nord Highlands though. What are we doing? Right. Phantom Thief B nonsense happened last time. Um, yeah. Thank you, Dios. Looks like we'll be able to keep our jobs after all. Good for you, sir. But this is no time to relax. I'm going to have to be extra careful to make sure no one lays a finger on it again. Good luck with that. Realistically, you just need to make sure this lady doesn't open the case again, because that's how it got stolen in the first place. Just leave it in the dang case. Ah, whatever. Should I talk to those people? Maybe. Am I going to? No. Yeah, that was quite exhausting. It was actually not as bad as previous Phantom Thief B iterations, I guess. I personally really hated, um, huh. which one was worse? Was it the one in Azure or was it the one in Zero? Which one was it that had the, the fish tank clue? That one was trash. That clue sucked. I remember the Cypher one where you had to like spell out the word Ignis. That was my fault for not remembering that that one club was called Ignis. But the fish clue was dumb and you cannot convince me I'm wrong. Phantom Thief B was an even more unpleasant fellow than I had expected. Annoying to think his smug face was watching us the whole time. Yeah, though his name is pretty well known around here. He was plainly suspicious, even when we first met him. Yeah, he was a bit of a weirdo. But I didn't suspect he'd prove this much of a troublemaker. Is something wrong, Green? I was just thinking, he must be incredibly skilled. He disguised himself so well that he was virtually unrecognizable, not to mention all those other things he did. People do say masters are eccentric. He's pretty dang eccentric. If this were martial arts we were talking about, he'd definitely be at the master level. I can't disagree. True. He's just so punchable, though. But why would someone like that try to mess with us? Because he's a weirdo! He specifically asked for group A, too. Though I can't imagine why. Because he's a weirdo. Hold on. Is it my father again? This is class 7 group A, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Hello, hello! Sounds like you've been keeping yourselves busy. A female voice. I know it's you, Instructor Sarah. I miss her. Maybe that's why this feels like it's taking so long, because I've been denied Sarah. Oh, got it in one. How'd you guess? Don't tell me. Is it your smoldering love for your tragically beautiful teacher? I have, uh, many feelings about you, but love would be stretching it. Anyway. You don't usually call us while we're out on a field study. Is something wrong? Actually, there's somewhere I'd like Group A to go. When you've finished up what you have to do for your field study, I'd like you to head over to the Saint District. Okay, let's see. Um, that's where Heimdall Cathedral and the embassies are, right? I think Elise's Academy is somewhere around there too. Oh yeah, we haven't even visited Elise yet. We're such a terrible brother. Yeah, that's the place. I want all of you assembled outside St. Estrella's Girls' School at 5 o'clock. Group B will be there, too. What? Don't worry, I've already informed the governor about this, so go ahead and enjoy yourselves. Anyway, have fun. Toodles. Hey, hold on. 
What's wrong now? It sounded as though the instructor is being her usual irresponsible self again. Pretty much. I don't know what she's thinking. Does anyone ever understand what Sarah is speak uh, thinking? Do they? I mean, I guess you can just assume that she's always thinking about alcohol and you'd be half right. Rean explained to the rest of the team that they were to assemble at St. Estrella Girls School by five o'clock. Oh, I know where that is. That Girls Academy for Nobles. Isn't that the one your sister attends? Hmm, I have a few acquaintances who attend there myself, but I can't imagine why she'd have us all meet there. Girls Academy, huh? Kind of curious. I'm sure she has her reasons. Weird ones, probably. It's almost evening, so we should finish up here and start heading over. The best way to get to the Sanct District is by tram, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter where we catch the tram from, it'll pass through there. I almost dread to think what we'll have to do when we get there, though. I am curious. The Sanct District has been added to the list of locations selectable from the any of the capital's tram stops. All right. Got it. Uh, huh. I think I want to go around and talk to people because I think that the time has technically changed in the game so people will have different things to say. And I don't want to miss anything. Do you have a name or are you just an NPC? You do have a name. He's been rather popular ever since his famous return to Erebonia on the Burl's Arsai, hasn't he? I've also heard much about his recent active involvement in official affairs. Oh, they're talking about, um, Olivert. Okay. You're just a tourist. I no longer care. What, what about a wallet? A little peek into one couldn't hurt? Maybe I should have read what he was saying. Chancellor Osborne's always taking the feelings of the people into consideration. He's done so much to make life in Heimdall easier for all of us. He's the man who brought about legal reform to ensure that the rights of us commoners are always protected. And yet he looks the most noble E out of a l almost all the characters in the game to me. Like he just screams old rich man to me. Maybe that's just a me thing. I think it's his hair. He also dresses very fancy. All right, this is, Dare Himmel is the hotel, yeah. Do you have anything to say? The Garnier district should become ever so lively tomorrow with the summer festival, even more so due to the Imperial family's parade. It may be well worth searching for a good vantage point for the parade in advance. Good day, everyone. Your work yesterday has once again made this a place where our customers can feel at ease. So please allow me to thank you all again. Okay, that's all he has to say. I assume I still can't go in there and... It does look like there are people in this room to the right. Do I know you? Claris? At the very least, I'd like to attend the dinner party being held at Carol Imperial Villa. Do try to prove that you're not entirely useless by getting us in there. Okay. Baron Poe. My daughter's exchanged her financial ambitions for political ones. Oh, my beloved daughter. You were once such an adorable child. Where did I go wrong? Are you even listening to me, father? Of course I am. Good luck to this guy. Your daughter sounds like a nightmare. Poor dude. Okay, I think that's like everyone here. I do not want to go to the tram. Um, so let's Start with Banker Street. We'll just make our way down the list. Okay. So I was it? Okay, no, no, no. We already spoke to them. 
when we were in here for the shoe thing. Okay, so we don't need them. Is there anyone new in the year? No, do you have anything to say though? The store's been in business ever since my great grandpa's generation, you know? That's why it doesn't exactly look modern, but we're every bit as good as those fancy new Orbal stores. That's okay. The Orbal factory at school literally looks like a garage. You're just a random passerby. I don't care what you have to say. Do you have a name? Nope. I'm just going to assume that people who don't have names are never going to have a quest for me, and thus I'm never going to care. Prince Olivert's getting really popular these days. Nobody gave a rip about him until he returned from abroad in that white airship. But that was a big deal. He had pretty much everyone in Heimdall talking about him. I guess that's one way to capture the people's imaginations. I really need to learn what the heck Olivert has got going on. Obviously, I would know had I played the Sky games, but I have not. You're from, um, Crossbell, weren't you? I can finally return home to Crossbell now that my business here is done. Actually, I should buy some souvenirs for my family before I head back. While we may have moved to a nice house, I still owe Sunita and Crail for all the trouble I've caused them. Okay. Maybe time has not moved forward, actually. Because these people are all saying the same things as when I spoke to them the last time. Hold on, let's, let's go to Sanct. Because that is literally what he said the last time. Those people in the clothing store, I think that's what they said the last time, too. I doubt we'll have any time to do anything else once we've arrived at the Sanct District, should we get going. Traveling to the Sanct District will cause the main story to advance. Uh, I, I've done all of my quests, right? Burglary is done. Oh no, no, no is done. Maple blocking is done. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've done everything. Hello, Moriaris. Welcome to stream. Hope you're having a good day. Do, 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 do. It's been a minute. You're fine. You're fine. I'm just going to progress the story. And if that's a mistake, then we like just started playing. So we can just go back to that save. Progress the story, sir. You've been AWOL for two weeks. You see, we've gotten to Heimdall. Yes, we have. And I actually figured out Phantom Thief B's clues for once. For once. Because this is a really small area and there are only so many places I could check. But still, I did a thing. They're all watching us. How are Fee and Lara getting along at the moment? Great, now they that they've fought the each other. They were wearing the same uniform as Reen's sister. Yeah, they must go to see Nostraya too. That fight was a nightmare though, but it ended in a really hilarious way. So the famous St. Astraya Girls School is around here, huh? It's supposed to be a combined middle and high school exclusively for the young ladies of the nobility. I think I would hate it if my middle school or high school were combined with the other. I don't I don't think that would have been enjoyable. Yeah, this is one part of the capital that the masses have no reason to visit. Although I can at least support the school's commitment to fostering chastity and rejecting materialism. For fostering chastity? Sir, what decade are you I mean century are you living in? You seem to know an awful lot about a fancy girls' school. I thought she was going to say you seem to know a lot about chastity. D no, no, I don't. This is all just common knowledge. 
Anyway, let's go and wait by the front gate. Yeah, those were the instructor's orders. I'm feeling kind of nervous, actually. Why would you? Are you nervous around girls, Elliot? But girls love you. <laughs> to men, this academy must seem clad in the mysterious, impenetrable aura of feminine nobility. <laughs> okay. We are in perfect V formation. Also, how great is Elliot's sister? By the way, I love Fiona. Fiona is fantastic. I was wondering, did you not want to come here, Laura? My father did recommend it to me, but they offered no classes in the martial arts. That alone was reason enough to look elsewhere. <laughs> I can totally understand that. Lara's like, if I can't beat something up with my sword, then I don't want to go there. Though I get the feeling Laura would cause a real uproar if she went to a school for genteel young ladies. Yeah, she would definitely be, oh god, what was that character's name? From Lobelia in Oron High School Host Club. She would be those people. Yeah, I can picture the chaos now. Oh? I have a number of acquaintances who attend there, and from all I hear, it does seem to be a wonderful school. You would be so popular. I've heard that even Princess Alfin herself is a student there. I've heard that too. Princess who? How do you not know your own country's royal family? You've seriously never heard of her? I know you're not from Erebonia, but even still... Never mind, she's excused. <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if plenty of Erebonians didn't know who she is. I forgot she was not from here. Princess Elfin is the daughter of our reigning emperor, His Majesty Emperor Eugent. She's supposed to be as sweet as an angel and popular with everyone. I don't know. I've only seen like two cutscenes with Alfin in them, and she did not seem sweet as an angel. She seemed mischievous as all get out. Is that so? <laughs> Actually, I believe she's the same age as Fee. Fee, you would probably get along with her great. I've had the opportunity to meet her once before. She truly is as charming as the rumors suggest. I figured as much. I've seen photographs of her plenty of times in magazines, though I've never had the opportunity to meet her. Sounds like she's in the same school year as Elise, come to think of it. She has a twin brother, too, Prince Cedric. He's the crown prince of Erebonia. Oh, right. I think I've seen a picture of the prince in a magazine before. Dark blonde hair, like, uses his brother, right? Oh, I think you're thinking of Prince Oliver. Are you guys going to explain to me why Prince Oliver isn't the crown prince now? He's Cedric and Elfin's older brother. Why isn't he the crown prince, then? Exactly. Ask those hard-hitting questions. I've heard the reason is that his mother was a commoner. It seems like a stupid reason to deny him the right of succession, but that's how nobles do things. I feel like I've been hearing his name a lot lately. He made a big splash when he came back from the borough aboard that airship. Uh, you know the one, right? Yeah, we literally just talked to Watson? Watson? About that? Ah, uh, you must be referring to his return aboard the Arcel after the crisis in Laboral was put to rest. I'm sorry. You said our cell? There's so many ways that I would think you would pronounce this obviously French word. That is not one of them. Yeah, I remember seeing that. It really made a big impact. I'd never My seen life an airship is a lie. that looked so white and elegant before. I believe my father went to welcome the prince back in his capacity as imperial governor, too. And, yeah, now that you mention it, that does seem to be when I started hearing his name around a lot more. That's not how that's pronounced. I'm glad I'm not alone. Oh, you're all here already! Ah, you made it! One day I'll change your clothes back. <laughs> it's good to see you all again. You're a bunch of early birds, aren't you? Well, we just about finished up everything we had to do when we got the call to meet here. Were you able to finish up everything on your end, too? <laughs> As if we'd leave any loose ends. If not for our unfamiliarity with the city, we would have been finished this morning. <sighs> Every time. Looks like getting these two to kiss and make up will be an uphill battle. I think they're already made up. 
They're adorable. <laughs> well, some say that when someone gets under your skin, it means you really care about what they think. Wait. Yeah, Lara's whole reason for not accepting Fee was somehow because she liked Fee, which was baffling. Did you two? <laughs> I figured the girls would be the first to notice. Fee is shipping hard. It should be Fee that helps, um, oh my gosh, what is her name? The girl in the literature club instead of Emma. <laughs> of course. I, um, I apologize for any worry I've caused you. We're fine now. Really? That's great! <laughs> it sure is. Maybe after this field study is over, we can get together and spend the night talking in one of our rooms. Sounds good. <laughs> the thought of a class 7 pajama party makes me a little embarrassed. You'll say you think the conflict between Lara and Fee is not very well executed or explained. No, it just makes Lara seem very judgy and fickle to me. That's and I don't for you. really feel like that matches her personality. <laughs> Girls and sleepovers go together like jam and toast, huh? I hate jam, but I do like a good sleepover. That must be Heimdall Cathedral's bell. It has a solemn, stately sound, wouldn't you say? It sounds so different from how it does in the Ost district. Though that makes sense, considering the distance. Ost? Dang. That bell ringing must mean it's five o'clock, which means it's almost the time we were supposed to meet here. Reen? Elise, what are you doing here? Wait, I guess this is your school, so... Where else would you be? How dare you be at your own school's front entrance? Who do you think you are? Um, yes. I see all of your classmates are with you too. <laughs> it's only been a week since we saw you, hasn't it? <laughs> well, we were told to meet here. Wait a minute. Are you the ones? The nine guests I was told to expect at five o'clock sharp? Well, there are nine of us in class seven. Wait, what? Then that would mean you're the one we were told wanted us to come here? Actually, I suspect that would be a friend of mine. Poor Elise. Why does she always have to be such a mischief maker? I swear. She could have at least given me a little warning that you were coming. Um, Elise? Anyway, where are my manners? Welcome to St. Astraya Girls School. I hope you'll enjoy your visit. Right this way. <laughs> 